Back now with a man who truly lives on the edge. Jeff Mackley is a news cameraman with a passion for extreme adventure. He recently put both of his talents on display when he climbed into the middle of an active volcano, at one point standing just 30 yards above the bubbling, boiling lava. And Jeff is with us this morning. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Let me just ask you the obvious question right out of the gate. Why? Why do you put yourself so close to the lava? Well, you know, in this day and age, there are very few places you can go and things you can do where you can truly say, wow. And I, I've always had the catchphrase, the greatest show on earth. And whether it's a volcano or being in a Category 5 hurricane or chasing tornadoes, Mother Nature just puts on the most amazing show. And there's very few places on earth that you can actually truly go and stand and say, I am the only human to have ever stood here. And such was the case with this place. So it's just a thirst for adventure f to do something that no one else has done. Jeff, we know you got about 30 yards away from that bubbling, boiling lava. How do you get down there to begin with? Well, getting to the job site is quite, quite incredibly dangerous. You're talking about 1,200 feet vertical, so pretty much if you stacked uh, two Chrysler buildings on top of each other, that was the commute to work each morning. And you had to um, dodge rocks big enough to kill you that are moving at, like, you know, terminal velocity past you every few minutes, hitting the rope, damaging the rope. It, it, was, it was dangerous. So standing on top of the lava wasn't... Standing on top of the, the, the edge of that lava pit was not actually that dangerous. Getting to that point was just incredibly dangerous. We see in some of these pictures you look like you're in some sort of a heat suit. Can you describe to us what it feels like physically to be <laughs> that close? Absolutely incredible. The, the first day that I got to the bottom, I didn't have the heat suit, and I just simply walked to the edge and managed to stand the heat for roughly six seconds before I had to cover my face and run back. But that special heat suit was designed uh, by the, uh, someone in the fire brigade in New Zealand. We also teamed that up with a breathing apparatus, exactly the same as any um, fire brigade would use to enter a burning building. And that is so that you're breathing fresh air. If, if you took one gulp of the superheated air coming off that lava, it would kill you instantly. So I was able to stand there breathing cool, fresh air from the breathing tanks. And in that heat suit, you still felt like you were in an oven, but it was a kind of a surreal experience. You could feel the, bla the waves of heat blasting at you, and you just felt like totally... Protected. I was able to stay there for 40 minutes until the air on the breathing apparatus ran out and the, uh, the alarm buzzer, as any fireman knows, was screaming at me and I just stayed there till it ran completely out of air. Such was the amazing uh, sight I was looking at and then I just ran clear of the lava lake and took the, the breathing uh, mask off. So real, real quick, Jeff, you've described your fascination with volcano hunting as something like a drug. Uh, I say this with the utmost respect. Are you a little bit crazy, Jeff? No, not a little bit crazy. I, I take calculated risks. I, I've been doing this for a long, long time. That's been, it's been a 15-year quest to get to the bottom of that uh, pit. No one else has ever achieved it, getting that close. I'm amazed no one has, but the, the pictures were exactly what I had in my mind all along. I knew that's what I'd come away with, and I'm just totally blown away. And, and you're right, it is like a drug. You just keep coming back because it... it to be standing there looking at molten rock boiling like water that close, it's nothing. It's, it's, it's indescribable. The pictures are just stunning. Jeff Mackley, a man with very high insurance premiums. Thank you very much, Jeff. We appreciate it. <laughs>